Hello and welcome to the Talent TSB Insight, where I will show you how to manage, trace, debug, analyze and monitor your deployed artifacts on the Talent ESB. The agenda for today is first an overview of the screencast, what goals do we try to accomplish, what problems are we trying to solve, then we are going to download, install and configure your environment. So if you'd like, you can replay this demonstration on your own local environment. Next, we have a walkthrough from the studio to deployment. And then let's get some insight here on the ESB using the incredible tool Hot.io. What will be demonstrated in this screencast? I will show you how to manage your routes and queues once they're deployed to the enterprise service bus. Next, I will get, show you how to get performance and throughput statistics through a uh, web interface. I will extend tracing and debugging from the studio on the live deployed artifact on the e enterprise service bus. I will show you how to perform log analysis online. And last but not least, monitor your resource uses of your enterprise service bus. Okay, what do you need for this? You need the Oracle JDK 1.7. I use 64-bit, 32-bit should be fine since we're not going to use a lot of memory intensive resources. Next, you need to download the Talent Studio for ESB 5.6.0 from the Talent website. Then, you need to download the Hot.io standalone distribution. Basically, it's a war with an embedded Jetty container in there. Last but not least, if you're interested to replay my demonstration, you can download the project and test data from my Dropbox. Okay, let's get started. For the purpose of this demonstration, I've created a content-based route example. From a queue which stores employees in the CSV format, messages are consumed by this route and converted to XML. Then each person found in the XML is being sent either to the US location to the New York office, if the location is the United States, or is being routed to the default location, the Amsterdam office. I also want to show you how the marshalling of CSV in XML in the Talent Studio is implemented. It has been implemented by a very simple TXML map component, which maps the first name, last name, position and locality of the CSV format into an XML document, as you can see here on the right. To give you an example how these documents will look, here is the input file where you can see in CSV format the first name, last name, the position and the locality. This CSV will be transformed into this simple XML structure. Okay, that's for now the studio and the route. Okay, back to the shell. Here I have started the Hot.io distribution which I just downloaded from the Hot.io website. I'm using 1437 for this demonstration. As you can see, Jetty is being started and the war is being initialized. And as a good surface, the URL is printed to access Hot.io later. But before I do that, I will configure the runtime enterprise service bus for use. I have set my Java home to a Java JDK 7 and I'm going to create a container here. I always find it a good practice to leave the delivered container of talent intact and just create a copy of it, which is exactly what I will do. Created a copy of the container, which is just a Karaf container. We'll go in there and start the talent ESB. Since our route needs a broker, I'm going to deploy ActiveMQ as an embedded broker into the ESB. For that, I will show the available features that are can help us, and you can see 5.10.0 is the embedded ActiveMQ broker supported by Talent. Um, I will use the, the default broker, which is the ActiveMQ broker, and I will just install it. That will that it, it. The broker is installed. 
The broker is configured using the OSDI configuration admin mechanism and could be easily managed in Caraf. Configuration can be done by modifying the file or Apache ActiveMQ server defaultcfg in the etc directory of Caraf or respectively using the config admin properties available in the command line. For now, I will just leave everything default um, as it is. There are also some very neat Caraf commands to browse, purge, list and monitor your ActiveMQ instance. I would suggest visit the ActiveMQ website under the OSGI integration section and read all about it. Before we can get started with our inside section, we need to deploy the route from the studio into the Talent TSB. For that, I will just export a car file, which I will place into the deploy directory of the enterprise service bus. I will go to my container, deploy and save it. Here you will see that the studio will generate the code build a Caraf archive and pushes it to the deploy directory of the Talent TSB where Caraf will automatically pick it up. And there it is. Here we have our content-based routing car including the job dependency convert CSV to XML. Okay, we're ready to go to the inside section. Using the URL we just saw in the console when starting the Hot.io application, um, we access the web application running on local host. Um, here I'm going to build up my connection to the Talent ESB Jalokia instance. Hot.io uses Jalokia to, ret to retrieve statistics and JMX counters. I will create a profile for later for reuse. It's, uh, it's just handy. Um, it's HTTP, local host, talent is running on 8040 by default. The path to retrieve data from Jalokia is usually slash Jalokia. Um, I'll leave it default and Caraf, Caraf is the default. I will just save it so you can later use it from your pull down menu here, uh, which actually we will do in the demo. And we connect to the remote server. It will open a new tab. And it will show us the starting point. First, I would like is to focus on the dashboard. The dashboard allows you to create your own combination of monitors, your own dashboards. Um, you can create as many dashboards as you like. You go to the manage section, you create your own desk dashboard. As you can see, it immediately appears here and from now on I can add my own performance counters here, which I will demonstrate later. Um, Hotio will pick up any features deployed to a container automatically. So if you're connecting to a JBoss container, it will you will get a tab on top here of JBoss. If you're running Tomcat, it will present Tomcat. In this case, it automatically um, figured out that we're running in an OSGI container and that we have Camel and ActiveMQ logic deployed. For now, I'll go to the ActiveMQ part where we already find a queue which is created automatically. Um, ActiveMQ by default creates queues if they don't exist. And this is my in queue. Um, I can create here new queues, which I will demonstrate. And I can send messages to queues. Oh, such an original message. One of the really cool things is that you can also add headers and it has completion for headers that it is already aware of. Camel and ActiveMQ uh, header settings and of course the default JMS settings. Um, I will create just a simple header and I will send the message. Message has been sent and can be browsed on the queue. Here we have the message. We can display the properties of the message 
and our own string property and as you can see it's the hello world example. Um, you can also browse messages and you can filter on columns here. If you think these are is too much information here, you can basically filter and select what you want to see. Um, I can move messages from one queue to another queue. It can actually be uh, an existing queue, but it can also be a non-existing queue, which in this case, ActiveMQ will automatically create a queue for you and the message is moved and visible on the other queue. Some basic JMS message management, but very handy to have that in your console. Now I just mentioned that you can create your own dashboard, so let's use that feature. Um, let's go to my queue um, and we're going to watch the chart. And this is the chart that is usually by default for each queue displayed. It's a lot of information. On the right you will see the statistics build up and if you move your mouse over it you can actually see the changes in statistics. Since this system is idle nothing much exciting will happen here and this is really a lot of information to add to my uh, dashboard. So what I will do, I will edit the chart and I will basically uh, choose consumer count um, in-flight count and what else? Queue size. These are really the things that interest me and I will add it to my dashboard. I will select Robin's dashboard, add view to dashboard and here you have next to the default created dashboard you have now my dashboard which obviously you can modify, change, update to your needs.